Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, it's such a joy and privilege to be um, with you and look at the Word of God and meditate on the Word of God and, um, and learn some principles that we can apply each and every day as we go through the day. Um, this week we are starting a new series, a very interesting one, a fun one called Show and Tell. Just like how would we would do in school for some projects that we would take an object and we show the object and talk about the object. So this week, uh, uh, today for show and tell, I have what is a uh, hinge. Um, uh, we know that uh, every house would have many of these, but um, the thing is that it's, it's small, uh, but we know that it can support a lot of weight, right? It's, um, and it ensures the proper functioning of an object that is much bigger and heavier than, than what it is. Right. But the second thing that we see about a hinge is that it is hidden. It's not very visible. It's not out there, but it's visible, quietly doing its job. Uh, and uh, it's very, very important for a door or a window uh, to be there and to function properly. In Zechariah chapter 4, verses 8 to, 10, 8 to 10, this is what we read. Uh, moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. For who has despised the day of small things? For these seven rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. They are the eyes of the Lord which scan to and fro throughout the whole earth. Verse 10. For who has despised the day of small things? The message translation goes like this. It says, does anyone dare despise this day of small beginnings? So the question is this, is there anything small and insignificant in your own life? Maybe it could be your role at work or ministry. And you're saying that this is something that I've been asked to do. And this is something that I've been doing, but it's so small. It's so ins in insignificant. It's so hidden. I don't know if it's actually accomplishing anything. Or it could be something that, something that God is asking you to do, something very simple, very small, and you're maybe even hesitating to start it, right? Or maybe it is the status of your ministry or your work or your project or your business and you feel that, hey, this is so small. You know, will it really amount to anything? The thing that I'm doing, the service that I'm doing, the work that I'm doing, so small. Is there, is there, is there any, will anything good come out of it, right? The encouragement here from the Word of God is that, that we are called not to despise it. Let no one despise the day of small beginnings. It means, you know, if something is small, if something is at that stage, do not despise it. Do not disrespect it or do not look down on it. Especially, you know, if it's something you know for sure that it is God given, but it seems so small, right? So don't discard it. Don't despise it. Because when we do that, when we tend to do that, we become very discouraged. We become discouraged and we say, you know, what good will come out of this task? What good will come out of this role? What good will come out of this, um, this project? We become discouraged. And we become distracted and we might even discontinue the doing of it, right? But look at the hinge. You see that it is small, but it can swing open a big door. A huge door, it carries the weight of the huge door. A few of these hinges will carry the weight of that huge door much heavier than the hinge itself. So today, just want to encourage us, do not despise the task that God has given you to do just because of the size of it, just because it is small and just because you think it's insignificant. Right? God will cause it to grow and become significant and right now, it is a blessing in other people's lives and God will cause you to know it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the, the things that you put in our lives, Lord, the things that you called us to do, God. And so we thank you and we choose to be faithful that we will not discard, that we will not despise and we will not become discouraged in the doing of it, God. But we will continue faithfully, Lord, even as you, Lord, multiply and cause it to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.